Lewis. At bat for the second time. First postseason at bat. Hit a two run homer to left in the opening inning. Swing a fly ball. Right center field. Deep Springer back. He will turn back. Royce Lewis for the Minnesota Twins helps end the saddest streak in North American professional sports. Two at-bats, two home runs early in the game. Twins win for the first time in 18 baseball games in the postseason. Not series, games. It's interesting to see a daily sports podcast and video stuff, blah, blah, blah. I'm Nick. What's up? Uh, Yeah, baseball started yesterday. I forgot to do a preview. Should we do a preview? I don't know. It always sneaks up on me because we're so concerned about football. Some weird things about baseball that I don't like. The Diamondbacks beat the Brewers yesterday. They're playing in a best two of three series, which is super de duper annoying because they're playing all of the games in Milwaukee. I don't understand that and how we just fine, whatever. I mean, I guess better two out of three than one play in game, I guess. Just to recap, Twins win their first ball game. The road win for the Texas Rangers. Tampa only had 19,000 people in attendance for a game that started at like 3 p.m., which is kind of fair. I don't know. Baseball, just they just don't understand how to make money. It's legitimately crazy. They're cramming all these games into these days, which is fine. But like, you know, prime time is when people watch stuff. I don't know, bro. I love it during the day. I'm not complaining about that. But I am saying like, yeah, this is why you guys don't make any money. They make plenty of money, but not as much as they could. Rangers win on the road. Diamondbacks win on the road. Phillies win at home. Twins win at home. Uh, other series going on. So we got Blue Jays, Twins. Marlins, Phillies. Rangers, Rays. Diamondbacks, Brewers. That's the first round. There are teams with buys. Here are the buys. Houston has a buy. The Dodgers have a buy. The Braves have a buy. And the Baltimore Orioles have a buy. So those series will start Saturday, October 7th, which is coming up real quick. So we're in the wild card round. They're going to try to just run through this, which is fine with me. I kind of like that. Huge baseball news dropping earlier this week. Trevor Bauer has been suspended for a million days for allegedly a pretty aggressive sexual assault situation. It has come out that the lawsuits have been dropped and maybe that she was making it up. There is some crazy, crazy evidence, including a text that she sent to her friend saying something to the effect of um, next victim... L.A. Dodgers pitcher and then the girl or her friend could it be a girl could be a guy I don't know said um, secure that bag as in like get that money and then the girl texted the girl back like the victim the ale- the alleger the accuser texted the her friend back uh, net worth 51 million which is like crazy I don't know uh, media I think we assumed he was guilty on this show I don't know I don't think we did actually I, whenever people are like really sure something happened I don't that's when we get a and again I swear I swear it's just my observation false accusations happen to athletes more than they do other people I think I don't know I don't know if I have data on that it just seems to be that way media really jumped down his throat I'm sure that many lawsuits and he probably should be owed back pay from Major League Baseball because of the way people reacted I have not dived much deeper into it than that. I think there's still, I think there's still room for us to be patient here and just see how this plays out because I suspect there will be more information coming out. Major League Baseball yesterday had a huge story to report during baseball. And as a result of that, they had to cut in to their coverage. Which they did pretty well. Uh, Speaker McCarthy, for the first time in American history, uh, Speaker of the House something, 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 got voted out by Republicans. Uh, This is how ABC handled it. Not bad. So it timed it up pretty well. Bottom of the sixth. And so the Texas Rangers are up by four. The inning is over. And this is how it worked out. After six, four, nothing. Texas right now let's send it to ABC News for a special report. This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting. David Muir. Good afternoon. We're coming on the air for this high stakes showdown unfolding on Capitol Hill at this very moment. For the first time in American history, House lawmakers have voted now to remove the speaker. Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Can we just talk about how news anchors are always leaning in one direction? His shoulders are not even. I guess, am I doing that? I guess. I'm, I'm fat. I gotta get in shape. This guy, like, they're always leaning like they're, <laughs> come here, son. Yeah, so they cut in. I like that. Um, it works out well. They don't get to go to commercial, which is fine. But I kind of like that. You never, you very rarely see stuff like that. Who wants to hear the call 
of when Minnesota won finally, literally 18 games. It had been back like the early 90s, the last time they won a playoff game. Not a series, not a practice, a, a game. Here's the call. So here is Springer. Murfield's at first. He'll take off for second. No one holding him. Horrible quality here. There he goes. And there's a ground ball. Diving stop. Barcelona. And he flips to Duran. They win. 18 is enough. The Twins get a postseason win. So 18 is enough. Good call there. Uh, not a bad call from the radio guy. Radio guys are the best. However... I'm curious to see if this is the monkey off their back and they can go on a run now or if they blew their wad a little early and now they're not going to do much of anything. The Mariners general manager had a press conference yesterday. Many general managers from many sports have a like debrief press conference after a season. The Mariners were in the playoff race for a long, 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 long time and then they kind of shit the bed down the road and the GM is making excuses. It sounds like this. If you go back and you look in a decade, those teams that win 54% of the time always wind up in the postseason, and they more often than not wind up in World Series. You know, so there's your, your bigger picture process. Nobody wants to hear the goal this year is we're going to win 54% of the time because sometimes 54% is, is some, one year you're going to win 60%, another year you're going to win 50%. You know, it's whatever it is, but over time, that type of mindset gets you there. If what you're doing is focusing year to year on what do we have to do to win the World Series this year, you might be one of the teams that's laying in the mud and can't get up for another decade. So we're actually doing the fan base a favor. <laughs> what he's saying is that we're not going all in. Um, we're just trying to win 54% of games, which is the quiet part out loud. Uh, these gyms are like, we want to compete for a title. We know we probably can't win a title, so we just want to compete for a title. So everybody's roasting him. Uh, calling him lame and a loser, and he is. Um, uh, yeah, just don't be better at press stuff, dude. I don't know what else to tell you. Okay, so have some controversies for you. A really crazy, tragic thing happened out of Florida, I believe. A Florida peewee, yeah, a peewee or um, whatever... I forget the name for the young football players. An 11-year-old boy has been charged because he had a fight with his teammates at practice, ran to his mom's car where there was a gun stash, and then shot his teammates. There's video. I'm not going to play it. It's, it's horrible. They appear right now like they have survived. Uh, last time I checked, um, which was like an hour or two ago, so it looks like it's going to be okay. He's been arrested as 11, ran to his mom's car, grabbed a gun, shot his teammates. Oh. <sighs> I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. That's horrendous. Unbelievable. The NHL is doing something sick, and there's just there's literally no reason, no reason not to do this for every single sport. They are doing an NFL red zone for hockey. On October 24th, all 32 NHL teams will play. The broadcast will be hosted by ESPN's only hockey fan. Like, he's not the only one, but he's probably the best. Hockey guy, John Butchergrass. It's going to show every goal, power play, and hit. So he's just going to go game to game to game to game to game to see how successful this is. I think that would be better. Maybe, I don't know. People are not going to be tuning in for that, just for that. And I also, it's super annoying because, again, I don't know how many times I have to say this. I don't care when the weather gets cold in Canada, in America, where all the money is, this is football season. It is a Tuesday, which is the deadest day of the week. At least NHL got that right. But not, why not like a month later? Why are you competing with the NFL? This is objectively stupid. But it's going to be cool. I think it's good for the NHL. Maybe people will like that better, but I don't think it's going to draw any new viewers because there's a lot of other shit going on. There will be baseball that day, probably. So I don't know why. I mean, just please, for the love of God, push the season back. At least a month. Watch the money roll in on the back end in June. The Raiders are a dumpster fire. Um, they got their best players. They have some all-pro level players. Max Crosby... Devontae Adams, Josh Jacobs, they have a cornerback. Uh, So Devontae Adams and Josh Jacobs, they kind of want out. Max Crosby maybe wants out. Cornerback Marcus Peters liked a comment on an Instagram thread that said, fire Josh McDaniels. It's gotten really crazy. I have no idea what Josh McDaniels' salary is and when they can buy him out. The Raiders are not a very liquid franchise. They did build that stadium, which will have helped quite a bit of all the different things that they can do there. 
But then that Vegas sphere got built, and that took up probably a lot of opportunities for concerts and shit. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe it didn't, but uh, I think that they can afford it now, but I definitely would not have been able to afford it a little earlier. So I think it's... I think it's possible something is, is going to happen. Uh, there are rumors circulating around the NFL that Matt Eberflus, the head coach of the Chicago Bears, will be fired when he loses on Thursday. I think they're going to lose Sam Howell and the Washington Commanders tomorrow. We will preview that game. I am betting on the Commanders. Got to hit rock bottom, man. That's how coaches get fired. Hit hit rock bottom as a franchise. You can get, move on and move out. A lot of trade rumors surrounding Justin Fields. It's a, it's a mess there in Chicago, which is exciting for me. I don't, I hate those guys. Hate them. All right. Back and better than ever tomorrow.